Today's November 15th, 2021, opening day of deer season in Michigan. Taking a little break from the hunting to do some pasture evaluation and assessment and talk a little bit about um, leaving enough residue in the fall. So the field we're looking at here is ryegrass, meadow fescue, alfalfa, and red clover. And as you can see, there is a lot of residue left. Um, really good way to go in the winter. My concern is that we have so much top growth, especially with the ryegrass, that we'll get some snow molds in it. So if we have the opportunity for the ground to freeze up, we'll flash graze the cows and calves over this and take about half of it. Um, even if there's a foot of snow on it, I'd still like to graze it down a little bit. So we'll walk over here and take a look at some of the native pasture, which is going to be timothy, um, trefoil, and red clover. All we have done is um, graze this properly, 45 to 60 day rotations on the native and on the ryegrass meadow fescue pasture we've been 30 to 35 days so this ryegrass meadow fescue pasture we've actually been across five times this year which is pretty amazing for what's normally a 120 day growing season so as you can see in our timothy pasture we have a lot of residue left and i wish i could show you but when you walk on it it almost moves as a mat rather than individual plants. So we were able to graze this area four times and we've left a good foot of residue on here. And so what that does is that carbon left in the, the dead bodies of the plants helps feed the soil biology and increase organic matter and continue to, to make this pasture more productive. So the more residue you can leave in the fall, the better off you'll be.